In this section, I will talk about uh, higher dimensional systems. In higher dimensional systems, movement of trajectories can exhibit a wider range of dynamical behavior. Fixed point still exists, but can be more interesting depending on how trajectories approach or repel from the equilibrium point. For example, a system could spiral into a stable point. Other type of stability uh, exists, such as saddle nodes and importantly cyclic or periodic behavior such as limit cycles. So more interesting but more difficult to analyze. Similar to one-dimensional systems, I will cover how to find fixed points and uh, more importantly how we can classify these fixed points. So suppose we have the following system. Two-dimensional, two equations, two variable. And first, we need to learn how we can find fixed points for this system. And then we need to examine the stability of fixed points. And finally, we will examine the phase plane and trajectories of such a system. To find fixed points, what we need to do is, as before, putting all derivatives equal to uh, zero. So for two-dimensional system, we need to solve dx over dt equals to zero and dy over dt equals to zero to get fixed point x zero, y zero. Now, if we do this and try to find a fixed point for an um, example of a predator prey system and put all derivatives equals to zero, then we can find two fixed points. The first one is again zero, zero. And the second one is x equals 80 and y equals uh, 12. Now that we have found the fixed points, if we want to examine behavior at these points or near the fixed points, we can examine their change against time or in phase plane. In phase plane, as you remember, uh, the two independent variables were plotted against each other rather than against time. And in general, we saw that the uh, phase plane gives us more information about the system. For example, here you can see that the system shows uh, cyclic behavior. And this behavior is fixed, but the system is not at a fixed point. Before going forward, we need to define Jacobian matrix. Jacobian matrix is the matrix of all first order partial derivatives of a vector or a scalar valued function with respect to another vector. This matrix is frequently being marked as J, DF, or A, and it's used to classify fixed points of higher order linear dynamical system. For classifying fixed points of a two dimensional linear dynamical system, we need to calculate the Jacobian. So if we have a fixed points x0 and we want to know about its stability, we can calculate the Jacobian of the system at x0. And then we calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of j at these specific fixed points. Now, if eigenvalues have negative real parts, then x0 is asymptotically stable. But if at least one of them have one positive real part, then this, the fixed point is unstable. If eigenvalues are pure imaginary, they can be either stable or unstable. As you can see here, various behavior depending on eigenvalues and eigenvectors can be seen. Here, there is an example for the two-dimensional linear dynamical system. But we can say in general, points attracted along negative eigenvalues and repelled by the positive ones, where axes of attractions are eigenvectors. Now, if we go back to our example, the predator-prey system, you saw that that system had two fixed points. If you want to know the stability of those fixed points without doing the perturbations, we can use the Jacobian matrix. 
So if we calculate the partial derivative with respect to x and y for both equations and evaluate the eigen, eigenvalues at uh, those two fixed points, we can see that if they are stable or not. For the first fixed point, uh, we see that there is one eigenvalues with positive real part, which means that it is unstable. And for the second one, the eigenvalues are pure imaginary, so they can be a stable or non-stable. For a dynamical system to be stable, we saw that the real parts of all eigenvalues must be negatives. All eigenvalues lie in the left half of the complex plane. We say a dynamical system is under damp if there is an eigen, a complex eigenvalues, and we say it is over damped if um, all eigenvalues are real, and critically damped at the boundary between them. We can also classify fixed points of a dynamical system using trace and determinants of a Jacobian matrix and have a different type of stable and unstable fixed points such as spiral fixed points or uh, nodal behavior and others. Let's look at more examples for a two-dimensional linear dynamical system. Consider the following very simple system with only two linear equations. First, we need to calculate the Jacobian matrix of the system. And then we need to calculate the eigenvalue of the matrix. Eigenvalues are minus 1 and minus 4. So both of them are negatives, which means that there is a stable fixed points, the attracting nodes, and we can call it sync. Now if we change the system by removing both negative signs from both equations, we have a new system. And eigenvalues of these systems are 1 and 4, two positive eigenvalues, which means there is an unstable fixed points, the repelling node. In contrast of a tractor, a repeller is a point of a state space away from which system will tend when it is in the surrounding region. Now if we keep only one of the negative signs, we have a third system, which has another type of unstable fixed points called saddle points. All of these three systems are linear systems. For nonlinear systems, behavior near the fixed points will be almost like the behavior of a linear system depending how almost linear it is. Behavior get less linear-like the further away trajectory get from the fixed point. So for a nonlinear system also, we always can calculate the Jacobian matrix and use it as an approximation or linear approximation of nonlinear system around its fixed point.